hey guys, I did some adjusting on the motor. I had the uh, my friend come out and take a look at them. The rocker arms were about a half a turn off of a of where they should be. It definitely quieted things down a lot. Um, but there's still a couple of them that are kind of loud, so I think I got a couple shit lifters. But I'm gonna dig into it some more, tune on it some more, and see if I can get them to shut up. If they don't, then I'm gonna be replacing lifters. But other than that, I got some exhaust mocked up, and I want to know what you guys think. What do you think of this setup so far? I'll try and get you a good shot. Off the headers, the mufflers, and in the straight pipe for now. I want to go up over the axle, but I don't have enough pipe right now. So do you think I should put the mufflers up here? Or should I bring them way back here and have them mounted about... Mm, they'd be mounted about here. I'm trying to look for something that's quiet without any wrap. And when I had the mufflers just hanging on the the 45s here for just testing purposes, that's why I got these bungee cords. I had them bungee corded on so I could run the motor without it being so loud. Um, there was no wrap or anything, so I kind of liked that. I liked it, nice, quiet rumble to it. So what do you guys think? I'm kind of leaning towards where they are right now. I like them how they are right now. I just got to get a uh, some more 45s to go up over the axles. So for now, they're in a good spot, but... Let me know further forward further backwards um don't be mad if you say further backwards and i leave them here because i'll probably play with them a little bit and see where they sound better so let me know on that but other than that i'll uh i'll get the truck down i don't want to run it too much longer in case those lifters are shitty but uh, i'll get the truck down and i'll start it up so you guys can hear for yourself they're gonna be quiet then loud quiet then loud i'll explain it when i get the truck down all right, so now I have decided um, to give them a half a turn on each rocker arm. So they've already been adjusted. Let me add this. They've already been adjusted. So it doesn't matter where the motor is right now because they've already been adjusted right. I'm just going to give every single one of them a half turn. So that should put the plungers in a different position. And then I'm going to run it. From there on out, whatever happens happens unless it gets really bad and i decide i'm gonna change the lifters and make a bunch of extra work for myself but other than that i'm gonna run it. extra half a turn i know they won't even be close to bottomed out so on this side i found two rocker arms where the lifters were completely collapsed they were loose like really loose so it's gonna make a shit ton of noise when i start it up i'm kind of losing hope on it um if it quiets them down i'll probably change the oil but if not i noticed some a little bit of metal in the oil so i can only guess that's coming from the inside of the lifters so if it doesn't shut them up, I'll eventually pull this thing apart and put new lifters in it. But other than that, I don't know where this is going to go. It might sit like this for a while, but for now, let's start it up and see, see how it goes.
got a few of them trying to come around. They're trying. I can hear it in the exhaust, but they're, they're just trying like hell, but... I don't know. I think there's no return on these lifters, but I'll give it a few more minutes and see what happens. space between the uh, push rod and the lifter and the plunger and all that happy horse shit that it would hit the plunger and the lifter just right and bring it back but I'd say it's a total loss so I'd like to get it out on the road and try it but I think it's shit I think I'm gonna rip it apart and get to the lifters but um, that's kind of an update on the C20 I know it's not much of an update it's kind of just me piddling and dicking around with it but there's nothing we can do so I'm really hoping the transmission comes in for the brown truck. Um, if that comes in, we'll be able to put this thing back together and get this thing on the road. There shouldn't be any issues with this. Uh, oh, excuse me. Um, the main thing that's being changed here, other than the transmission, is the transfer case. So I'm probably going to title those videos um, NP203 to NP205 swap or 205 swap in a K10. Um, so other people that are looking to do the swap know what they're looking for so i'm not just uh, making my videos subscriber specific so i can get some more people to see my stuff so i got a seal kit here for it um in not not very long from now i'd like to replace all the outer seals and maybe replace these kind of seals and sh shit like that so hopefully i can uh get them replaced and uh get this thing ready and the transmission will come in uh drive shafts for this truck that i'm gonna have to change i might have to do something with the rear but the front one should be okay i do have a front one for it those are the ones i got with the transmission and transfer case for the 205 swap i got the swap from a guy so and if nothing comes up with the brown truck and i decide not to tear into the c20 i will get back on the small block rebuild over here i gotta pull the manifolds off and uh clean our rest of this thing up 
and um, get it all freshened up. Make sure the gaskets are okay. Get a carburetor on it, and then that'll be good and set. And I do have another set of headers for the brown truck here because the brown truck has got a cracked header. Then the cracked headers will go on the run stand. So the run stand motor will have long tubes then. So maybe there'll be a video coming of when I change the headers because my ratchet strap holding the motor up isn't in the way of my headers. So I should be able to change those pretty, pretty easily. Um, I'm going to have to do the same thing. And they're the stainless steel ones versus these chromatic coated ones, which you can see right here are coming apart so those stainless steel ones that i got in the c20 are actually pretty nice i really like them actually so they look they look a lot better in there but i also have to do the same thing i did to this one to the new set of headers where i oblong out the holes but that's aside the point the point of this video was to give you guys an update on this thing and i think i got shit lifters so moral of the story pay attention moral of the story don't buy cheap parts don't buy cheap parts the cam was a good cam and everything the lifters are junk if you're gonna buy a camshaft kit buy a cam and a lifter separately then you know what you're getting for lifters that's my advice and that's what i've learned and i'm here to teach you guys a lesson not necessarily teach you guys a lesson teach you guys something new and that's what i learned and i hope i can pass that on to you guys don't buy cheap parts it's driving me nuts i put a lot of hard work into this thing it was painted up nice i had to destroy my paint i made a mess on the fender you don't want to go through that if you do a lot of hard work to something so if that's one thing that i can make good come out of this video is don't buy cheap parts so all right guys enough with the with the uh jibber jabbering whatever the hell that word was i just come up with enough with the bs Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, comment. I'll see you guys in the next one.